What's good everyone? I'm ITD. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre video. In our last news update about TCM, we talked about how Sumo Nottingham, the developers for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, was actually parting ways with Gun Interactive. And uh, there's been a lot of talk about what does this mean? Who are going to be the new team working on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? And as of the last like three minutes, they have just announced on Twitter who that is. Gun Interactive announces new partners. The new development team that will be working on the Texas Chainsaw Master is a familiar name in Black Tower Studios. If you've heard that name before, it is the development team that took over after Elphonic in Friday 13th the game. They actually worked on Jarvis House and Pinehurst for Friday 13th the game. So they did post here on their website. We're going to read it here and break it down. Get your guys' thoughts. So let's talk about it. Gun Interactive partners with Black Tower Studios for development of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We want to welcome our community to our new development partners, Black Tower Studios, for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In order to showcase what this means to players, we will be sharing our press release below. The transition is aimed to be as smooth as possible to not impact our players. Gun Interactive and Suno Nottingham are proud of the co-development for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Suno Nottingham and their team are working hard hand in hand to pass the torch to Black Tower Studios for future development of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Both teams at Suno Nottingham and Gun Interactive are onboarding Black Tower Studios to the project and we are excited for this partnership to help usher in new content and support. Over the course of the past month, Black Tower Studios has been working alongside Sumo to prepare for their transition to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Gun Interactive and Black Tower Studios have previous history with code development where collaborations and transparency are key pillars for both studios. Black Tower Studios is an amazing group of developers that have also worked on titles such as Predator Hunting Grounds, Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, and Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. We are excited to welcome their talented team coming together to continue bringing the best asymmetrical horror. As they created the Jarvis House and Pinehurst maps on Friday 13th the game, as well as provided support. A number of other partners will be joining forces with Gun, such as Art Bully Productions for future cosmetics for all characters, Estronic Labs on QA testing, Saturday Morning Serial for all gaming trailers and assisting in in-game cinematics, and Odd Gentlemen, the studio behind the museum mode, as well as possible future modes. These teams are all dedicated to the vision of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre as the game continues to evolve and expand. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, Gun is definitely forming a squad around them. Art Bully is going to be working on cosmetics. You have a new QA team. You have a team that is working specifically for trailers and cinematic modes. It's very interesting that this article does say that Odd Gentleman is working on the museum mode, which we did know, but also they threw in that little as possible future modes, you know what I mean? Like maybe we could see different modes in Texas Chainsaw Master, whether it be more multiplayer game modes or a single player game mode. So that was, that's a little, little hint there that they threw in. Um, now, Black Tower Studios is not that big of a shock. Obviously, Gunn is super familiar with this team, has worked with them in the past. Outside of that, I really don't know too much to think. I don't know how big Black Tower Studios is. I don't know what that means in terms of like, their quality and support. Friday 13th was always a little like, it's always hard to go off of Friday 13th because the experience of Friday 13th in forms of gameplay was always kind of messy. But yeah, super interesting to see what this means for TCM. Personally, I was never a huge fan of Predator Hunting Grounds. I thought there was a lot of missed opportunities there. I hear amazing things about the Ghostbusters game, so maybe there is some proof in the pudding there. But as always, I would love to know what you guys think about this. Let me know down below, comment, let's talk about this, slash the like button, subscribe so you do not miss out on more Texas Chainsaw Master content. We have our own gameplay series here called Meet the Slaughters. A lot of fun gaming moments if you guys haven't seen that please check it out and as always remember the rules to survive don't do drugs don't have sex don't die